I learned of the death of a friend just a few weeks ago. Back in November, he was diagnosed with brain cancer, and then along came March and he was gone. And while of course this news saddened me, it also left me pondering so many more things. This wasn't the first bit of news that I've received recently, and it is something that I do need to explore with you. Hi, I'm Rick, in case you're new here, and we're gonna take a little bit of a break from the usual video fare because we do need to explore something. So right after I learned about the death of my friend Dave, I was scrolling through his Facebook page, just reading all of the posts from all of his family, all of his friends, and there were a lot because Dave is, well, Dave was quite the unique guy. But there was one post, it was one line out there that just stopped me in my tracks. It said he only had two years before retirement. Now I have another friend who was diagnosed with lung cancer right around the same time that Dave was diagnosed with his brain cancer. Now fortunately for this other friend, the prognosis looks pretty good that he might make a full recovery. But just like Dave, I have never had a conversation with this man that did not include the countdown to when he was gonna be able to retire. Now, there's a large part of me right now that just kind of wants to rail against the American corporate system, but this really isn't the place for it. But what I can do is I can share with you what Nikki and I discussed that night when we heard that David died. You see, his death absolutely rocked us. Dave was full of life. He, he loved his family. He loved his friends. He loved everything. His worldview was huge. And now he's gone. Now, there is one argument to be made that he died happy. He did have his daughter, he had his wife, he had numerous friends, he had numerous, he had a lot going for him. But I also know that I, I know Dave, he wanted so much more. He didn't want to spend his entire life working and providing. He was the guy that introduced us to, to RVing and it was something that he truly wanted to get out there and do. He wanted to take his family everywhere to explore. Now, a lot of this hits home because two years ago, I had to make a similar decision. I was having trouble wrapping my head around the whole work, 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 when are you going to retire? And what I decided to do was pre-retire, temporarily pre-retire, spend two years wandering, and then kind of go back to work. Well, in February, that decision had to be made. It was time to go back to the world of software engineering. And I just couldn't do it. I mean, there were so many things that ran through my mind. How was I going to be able to afford this financially if I'm not making the big bucks, yada, yada, yada. But it was a decision that was out of my hands. I simply couldn't go back. Now, the night that we had learned that Dave had died, Nikki and I had a lot of emotions and a lot of discussion. And we both agreed that the decision that we made two years ago to to live our own life, to, to move forward with what we wanted to do was the absolute right one. And subsequently, you know, once we have decided to continue this life, we also know that we are on the right path. I mean, everything that we have done, every place, every person that we have met, that we have interacted with, that we have learned from, it has just been incredible. And honestly, there is no way that we could possibly stop now. Now, initially, I had wanted to make this video kind of a, a big preachy one. You know, I wanted to, to use all of this to go, you need to follow in my footsteps. You need to quit the world of corporate shareholder profits and go live your life. But I also realized my life is not your life. What drives me is not what drives you. But there is one bit of commonality between all of this and what's in your world. And that is, you can't wait. You see, I have a whole bunch of friends who are currently waiting. You know, they keep saying, oh, as soon as I can retire, as soon as I can this, as soon as I can blah, blah, yada, 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 I'll be able to. Well, what happens if whenever doesn't happen? For my friend David didn't, and for a whole lot of other people, the same is gonna hold true. Now, I don't wanna sound like a, a doomsayer. I don't wanna sound like someone who's gonna go, you're gonna die before you can get whatever it is you wanna get. But I can tell you unequivocally, the thing that we have learned, the thing that we have realized, you cannot wait. Stop making excuses. Stop putting off whatever indecision you have and start living. And that's it. 
that's the end of my message. Uh, I hope it means something to you. Thanks for watching.